Thank you so much, Ewan. Let's get back into our rugby action coming up this weekend. And we are joined by Good Hope FM producer and Hamilton's rugby club player, Morgan Newman. He had a chat about the rugby championship kickstarting this weekend against Argentina in Nelspruit. Morgan, dude, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. I know the Olympics has stolen a lot of our thunder over the last couple of weeks and it's been awesome to get into that. But lest we forget, this is probably one of the highlights of the rugby calendar this year and up against Argentina. But before we get into our future prospects, let's talk about the box squad. Five changes made, some out of necessity. We know Riedling is coming in um, due to injury. Opa Mahoje getting a very likely nod. What do you make of the other changes in that box squad? Most notably, Mr. Brian Abana being brought into the starting 15. Yeah, look, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's a difficult one, this Springbok squad, you know, there's always going to be contentious. <laughs> you had to uh, take a breath there before you started. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, yeah, it's always going to be controversial, but um, look, I think Brian brings a, a balance to the, to, the, to the back three that the Springbok squad is currently have, you know, a lot of inexperience there. So I think I, I see a little bit of method in Alice's madness with regards to bringing Brian back. I'd like to have seen a young guy there that can really, you know, bring exactly. a different dimension to it. A number of informed players have put up their hand e this year. Yeah. Exactly, you know, I mean, you know, the Lions perform extremely well. Court Nelson Skosan, I think he's, yeah. um, he can really, you know, he's, he's, he's shown that Super Rugby, that he's a good, he can perform at the highest level, you know. But, yeah, like I said, a controversial, a lot of controversial um, um, selections. You know, most notably, I think, um, Opa Mahoje. You know, for a player that could hardly start um, to the latter end of the, of the Super Rugby campaign, he could hardly start for the Cheetahs. Now going straight into the starting lineup for the Springboks, is it is it a political move? I think you know, often uh, we'll we'll look towards that. But again, you know, there's there's um, Sikon Bozinoche, played unbelievably well for the Stormers, yeah. played well for the SAA side, and now has been sent back to the Curry Cup side to play for Western Province this weekend. So I think he's a loss to the Springboks squad. But uh, again, lots of controversial um, topics that we can that we can cover. A hundred percent. I had to ask, how much of Johan Gerson have you seen? Obviously, being based overseas, we haven't been able to connect with the player. How in form is he? Look, I think Johan Gerson, um, he has been playing extremely well for Racing Metro. I've been keeping a close eye on him, um, you know, in France. And, um, yeah, he's playing next to Daniel Carter, so there's no better, <laughs> there's no better place for him to play, you know. I, I, mean, I mean, the fact that he's been picked at fullback is a surprise for me. He's been playing inside centre for the for Racing Metro for the last uh, few weeks. So, there's a big shift there. But again, you know, if you look at... Uh, Alistair and his thinking, then I think he does bring a dimension to the back three of the Springboks that we've never had. You know, Vili Leroux is more of a running fluff. You know, Juan Huysen has got a good boot on him. He's got a right foot. If you Massive consider yeah. Faf de Klerk and, 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 um, and Alton Yankees are both left footers. So he brings a right foot kicking option to the Springbok side, which is a, massively important in Test Match Rugby. And then also he's got the flair and the you know, the inexperience to, to guard there and just express himself, you know. I think and we that's lack, exactly what we need, We yeah. lack, in the Springbok team currently, I think we're lacking players that guard there and express themselves, you know. Everybody's been, been coached into a box, and I feel that, you know, someone like him really brings a dimension where they can really just go and throw the ball out there and, and really express themselves, you know. And we want to see that, but I think ultimately we are seeing a bit of balance, so we, we wait with bated breath for that opening encounter up against Los Pumas this weekend in Nelspruit. Morgan, thank you so much for joining us, dude. Always good to be here, um, And I think we'll really get into the meaty bits when we're up against New Zealand later on in our campaign. Um, but you can let us know what you think of the South African starting 15. Do you agree with Coach Alistair Kutsia's selection?